The war in Ukraine is now into its fourth month and clear patterns are emerging. Russian military tactics are now based on intense artillery and aerial bombardments of villages, towns and cities, forcing the Ukrainians to retreat before sending their own troops in. Now, the United Nations Human Rights Commission is trying to determine if war crimes have been committed. Russia has consistently denied that it's targeting civilians or that talk of killing of civilians and mass graves is fake news. So the United Nations has sent an independent commission of inquiry to Ukraine to see for themselves. It's just completed its first visit and held a press conference in Kyiv to announce its findings. Commission members say it's too early to make any legal determinations, but the initial findings are disturbing. Subject to further confirmation, the information received and the visited sites, destruction may support claims that serious violations of international human rights law and international humanitarian law, perhaps reaching war crimes and crimes against humanity, have been committed in the area. Testimonies also included stories of destruction of civilian property, looting, the confinement, uh, mistreatment and disappearance of civilians as well as reports about rapes and other forms of sexual abuse. The Commission visited Erpin and Bucha, commuter towns on the outskirts of Kyiv, which after the Russians retreated showed evidence of widespread destruction of property, along with mass graves in and around Bucha. Last week, another mass grave was found in the woods near Bucha. Before coming to Ukraine, the Commission informed Russia of the visit and asked for its cooperation, but has had no reply. Several more visits to other parts of the country will take place in the coming months, with the final report due in September.